Welcome back, everybody. You got some muscle in here. I got, yeah, I got you. <laughs> oh, I got these guys, too. Uh, Dana White, UFC president. Matt Serra, one of the most irrepressible of all UFC guys, is here with us right now. They've got a new show on YouTube. It is called Dana White Looking for a Fight. Here's what it's all about. Back in the day, I used to scout the world looking for new talent. But I haven't done that in years. I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions. And I'm willing to go to any show, anywhere in the world to find them. Fun. Road trip. <laughs> Road trip. Road trip. I mean, it's not just you looking for a fighter. You're also going around looking at the hot spots in each of the cities, exactly. trying new yeah. restaurants. It's fun. It's a show for everyone, so, really. So you two and your high school buddy. Yeah, right. one more guy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Three the of tooth. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it like? Is he like the boss when you travel with him? What do you think? Well, you know what? He, he's like a buddy because I know him since I've been fighting in the UFC since 2001. Back mm. when I was a young man, back at 26. Now I'm 41. You're an old, you're an old <laughs> dude. Yes. Uh, back then, back then, we you know we said it's the cage fighting is animalistic. It's never gonna, it's never gonna really catch on except for a very small group. What happened? Look at us now. Yeah. Well, we're global, and and that's that. You know, this show is that, that's what this is about. You know, if you went anywhere, if you went to a football game, a baseball game, or a fight, you would go with your friends to whatever local town, take in whatever there is to do, whatever uh, you hear is the best restaurants in town, you go check out, and then you go to the event, and that's what we do, and um, and, and we're out looking for talent. And, and you were saying that about the sport. You realize that when we travel around the world now, there are fights happening in every city, everywhere around the world. We literally have to pick and choose where we want to go. We're going to Minneapolis, Minnesota this weekend. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Lots of options. How are you physically? What, what price have you paid? Uh, with all my years of fighting? Yeah. Nothing but a few, few uh, stitches. That's, That's it. it? That's Nothing, it? believe no it or way. not. The hardest part about mixed martial arts is the training camps, I'd say. Getting yeah. through, of course, it's, it's so rigorous. But be so, you know, your body can take a beating over time. But as far as me actually fighting, nothing more than a few scratches. You worry about concussions when you hear all the stuff with the NFL? Yeah, I mean, you know what? It might look pretty blunt, and, and, and but it's over. Like, like it's because it's so quick. It's not like you're repeatedly getting hit and hit, as in boxing, say, yeah. where you, sometimes they have a, an, an eight count or whatever. They, uh, they go down, yeah, they get back up. It'll just take and, one uh, wrong And you move. just keep getting hit more. Yeah, so I still got my, I don't know how many marbles I began with, but I still got whatever marbles <laughs> I had. So yeah, I think I'm doing okay. That's the barometer. This has nothing to do with the sport, uh, yeah. whatever, whatever you see here and, today. The, and the difference with, with concussions <laughs> in football is, is you know, if, if Brady gets a concussion, you can't keep Brady out the whole season. Mm -hmm. When these guys, after a fight, when these guys, uh, you know, uh, have a, sometimes they're on a 90-day suspension where they can't even have contact for 90 mm -hmm. days, right. or it could be longer. Mm -hmm. they, they're out as long as a doctor says they can be out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah um, Ronda Rousey. Everybody knows Ronda Rousey. She's yes. bigger than the sport. She's a star in the world. She's been with us many times. She gets beaten by Holly Holm, who, by the way, came in here and won everybody over. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. oh, sweet, Ronda sweet. Rousey. Really sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Really sweet. Uh, talk about because this is a social phenomenon that happened here. Yeah, it was a it was a global phenomenon. I mean, uh, that night the internet broke when Ronda Rousey lost. It was crazy, um, I, and and I don't think there's ever. Nobody's ever shocked. Anybody can lose. She's human just like anybody else. It's the way she lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That That's was right. shocking to That's everybody. Right. Um, but you know what? Holly Holm is going to fight Misha Tate, and Ronda Rousey will fight the winner of that fight. So, so rematch possibly in November. Exactly. Maybe. We'll see. Will that, excuse me. Will that be the... I will, what am I yes. asking? Of course, we it'll be the biggest. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. no, I didn't yeah. even need to know yeah. the question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the answer is yes. defense by five. It, it will be massive. Okay. okay, so Dana, you've seen a lot of, you know, you're out on the show looking for fighters. You see a lot of people who really impress you. Has there been anyone who has just been the worst fighter that you've ever yes, witnessed? Yes, we, we, we were just talking about this. You know, you one know, of the guys, uh, Corey Anderson, who is one of our really, really moment. tough, durable right here, fighters. Right here. Um, yeah, this That's is actually the fight. Yeah, and this cool. guy, the, the, the kid uh, in the uh, black trunks with the orange is, is actually his training partner. And he says, this is my, my daily training partner, but some guys just choke under pressure, you know? And that, that's one of the things we look for uh, in, in, in fighters, guys who are able to shine in the spotlight. If we're there and we show up and we're watching you, this is your big opportunity, it's your time to shine. You need to shine that night. So he just had a bad night, you think? He well, had a real bad Fighting's night. already pressure, just getting into that 
you know, the right. cage alone. Totally. When we're in the audience, now there's even more pressure. So if you're not performing when we're there, when opportunity's knocking, how are you going to perform in what the if, big show? What if you guys didn't let them know you were coming? What if they just did their thing without you well, there? Well, when, if they get in the, if they perform and they get in the UFC, they know they're going into the UFC, so they're going to have to shine there. So Eventually. It's better. The pressure's something it's pressure. they have to learn. You, yeah. Pressure's a part of fighting. Yeah. You have to deal with it. If you know we're coming, it's a big, big opportunity for you. Right. So, How embarrassing. Yeah, because I'm thinking <laughs> oh, about it. Your sport, you have stars. Now Connor is a huge star. Mm -hmm. Rhonda is of a different level. She is like Muhammad Ali in terms she of really is. everybody knows who she is. Does your sport have to have a Muhammad Ali guy, one who transcends the sport? Um, you, you know, I, I think over time that's going to, you know, we, we've got John Jones and, you know, we've got a lot of different stars. Connor is that guy right now. What that guy is doing in Europe, I, I, we just had a fight in Boston a couple weeks ago and I bumped into these two Irish guys who told me, uh, you know, for 10 years we've been fans and we had nobody to talk to about it because <laughs> now since Connor McGregor, everybody's talking about it throughout Europe. Uh, you know, this is still a really young sport. 15 years, mm -hmm. 20 years, you know, total. We bought it 15 years ago. Um, you know, it takes time. The NFL wasn't right. doing 120 million viewers in, in no, 15 years. No, so not at all. It takes time. Right. And some of these uh, fighters just have the it factor. Ronda, right. Connor, which is something special about right. it. That's right. You know, they perform, they're great fighters, but there's that extra thing. You know, I'd offer her, but she's pregnant. She could, she could, she could <laughs> really? Yeah. But I do bite, and you said that's yeah. not yeah, allowed. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you look awesome. I'm Thank out. you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Nice so to meet you. Have fun. Looking for a fight on the UFC's YouTube channel and on UFC Fight Pass. Dana, always great to see you. Pleasure. Matt, pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much.